It's been an absurdly long time since I've last uploaded, nearly about 4 months, which is the longest hiatus I've had since 2021, better known as the Dark Ages. So I've decided to finally get off my ass and make another video. Now since I didn't upload that much in 2023 compared to 2022, I won't be doing a full on rewind this year, but instead this will be a bunch of smaller things. Basically an amalgamation of a rewind, a roadmap, and a Q&A which I straight up forgot to do last year, oops, along with explaining my absence. This is a 1000 sub Roblox channel, so I know damn well only 14 people will really care, but that's a Sisyphean grind set for you. Enough stalling though, I'll start with quickly explaining the absence. After Humorous Happenings 4, I had two videos planned for October, which I ended up not finishing in time, thus leading to them getting scrapped. Though we're not entirely off the table for this year's Halloween. November and December were the usual procrastination and also a lack of ideas, so uh, oops, again. Despite 2023 being a somewhat dry year with half as much of the uploads as 2022, I had higher quality videos on average since by then I got used to Filmora 11 and I'd gotten the hang of how it works allowing me to create stuff like Humorous Happenings 4. There's not really much notable other than uh, I played Deep Broken I guess and 2023 is the first year where I started making specials like the 2022 Rewind, Scrapped Content, Easter Eggs and References, and Behind the Scenes. That's enough of last year though, it's time to talk about the stuff I have planned for this year. Firstly, last year I didn't really bother setting a goal like I did in 2022, so my goal this year is to surpass 2022. Since there's no real way to dictate that, I've decided that I'll be trying to hit 3,000 subscribers. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, since in 2022 I went from 300 to 1,000 subscribers, barely. And even though I know I probably won't be able to do that, I want to try anyways. I got a few interesting video ideas in store, so I'm feeling a bit confident. And speaking of interesting ideas... Second, I plan on focusing more on original series and unique videos for this channel since it's just been humorous happenings in three random Roblox games. Those series will still be around, obviously, but I want to focus on more interesting content. And lastly, let's just say I got some plan for humorous happenings 5 when I get around to it. Don't get your hopes up too high since I'll probably just play more slop looking and forget all about this, but eh, it'd be fun to try. Now onto the meat of this video, the Q&A, starting with can I get a screenie from Hugo? Of course, I can't pass up on making a fan's day, so here it is. Next, from Mechlordor, what do your VH3 outfit slots look like? Since I haven't really made that much VH3 content after the V47 overview, I haven't had much of a chance to show many of my VH3 outfits. Of course, there's the classic The Man, which has been my primary fit since forever, The Guy, which was relatively recent, VH3 Voltage, which I made near the very end of V46, The Warrior, another old one, Licensed Hunter, which is the most recent out of all of these, and I don't really wear it that much, and lastly this Astral Guard one, which was made during the beginning of V47's lifespan. That was quite a lot. Next, from Mr. Driven, Hashtag Q&A, Fortnite Gritty or would you rather be a mouse or a squirrel? Thanks, Driven. From Seven Swords Inc. 909, do you still play Vampire Hunter 3 and how do you think the future looks for it? I don't play Vampire Hunter 3 much anymore, but I occasionally hop on. And for the future of the game, simply put, it's not looking so good right now. Let me put it into perspective. The game managed to reach 1,000 players, but most of the game is seen for like, a while. Probably ever. But the new players had a shitty tutorial that taught them the barest of the bare minimum and their only way to learn more was from playing the game with people who've been playing for hundreds of hours, and maybe even years. And then to add 6 months with no new content other than some slight bug fixes and all the bugs that still remain and all the co content, it, you know, adds up. And I understand that Zack is a solo developer and game development is hard, big shock, but as it stands now, Vampire Hunter 3 doesn't look like it'll be able to get off the ground. V47 update was the biggest chance the game got, and if the update had been delayed so that an actually decent tutorial could have been made and less content would have had to be cut, then I think this could have been a much bigger and better update, like Zack thought it would be. Anyways, that was really long and winded. Next, from Mouse3998, Kitty. Next question from Breadloaf, favorite type of music? Now, I listen to music such as video game OSTs and anime openings as that is what brings healing to my soul. I simply jest. Anyways, I listen to so much random slop from so many different genres and artists I can't really say I have a favorite type of music, but I can play a few songs I listen to here. Let's pick up! 
Now that that's done, from Sinister, are you white? No. Stickman Shenanigans asks, why did you change your avatar? Not really a lot to it other than I didn't like the old one that much and I feel like the current one represents me much better. And also I like it more. Alright, one from Recon. On a scale of 1 to 4 GD normals, how heavy do you fuck with me? You're a pretty chill person and drew me holding a fish one so you get 4 GD normals and a complimentary GD simple. Another one from Mikordor, what games do you play other than Roblox? Now, throughout the channel I've shown some actual games, primarily in the Humorous Happenings series, but I don't talk about what I play whenever I decide to hop off of Slopwoken for once. Obviously there's Ultra Kill, I've mentioned it numerous times throughout the channel, so it's no secret. Deep Rock Galactic, Resident Evil 4, Risk of Rain 2, Evil Company, and with the Winter 2023 sale I got a hat in time, Signalis, Super Fancy Pants Adventure, Peak, Project Zomboid, Devil Hi. Daggers, and much more. Lastly, from Simons, why is the channel dead? Well, you see, after Humorous Happenings 4, I had a really, really crazy deep-woken run.